Here at Passmark, we are pleased to introduce our latest hardware product, the PCIe Gen 3 test card, designed for load testing and troubleshooting your PCIe slots. With the PCIe Gen 3 tester, you can test the PCIe Express slots, function correctly and provide the expected speeds on up to 8 lanes. Using this tester, it is possible to verify that a port is capable of Gen 3 or Gen 2 or Gen 1 speeds, the maximum speed of the slot can be benchmarked, that the data can be sent and received from the PCIe host slot, that the data can be transferred without error, which is useful for compliance testing, that the system remains stable under long periods of load, which is useful for EMC radiated emissions tests and for signal quality analysis via eye diagrams, and you can concurrently check multiple PCIe slots at the same time. The PCIe Gen 3 Tester is a software developed by Passmark Software that runs on a Xilinx KCU116 kit. By purchasing the software, you will receive a KCU116 board, a micro USB cable for updating the firmware, a power adapter, a power brick, and multiple power cords, including UK, USA, and European plugs. Please note that not all accessories are required for PCIe testing. These include the electrical loopback module and the ethernet cable. The supplied PCIe Gen 3 test software is compatible with 64-bit Windows systems and Windows 10 and above. A note for testing PCIe times 1 and times 4 slots. The card has a times 8 edge, which means that it can't be inserted into a times 1 or times 4 slot. For testing a times 1 or times 4 slot, you need a PCIe Gen 3 or higher riser card extension adapter. Please note this extension adapter is not included in the kit. Installation. Step 1. Installing the PCIe test card in your PC. Make sure the computer is completely off and then insert the PCIe card into a vacant PCIe slot. When the card is installed in the PCIe slot, power is provided from the ATX power supply 4-pin peripheral connector through the ATX adapter cable, which is plugged into J52 on the PCIe test card. In the case your PSU doesn't have an ATX 4-pin peripheral power connector, you can use the external adapter that comes with the kit. Once connected, slide the KCU116 power board switch SW1 into the on position, and then the PC can be powered on. Caution: It is really important that you do not plug a PC ATX power supply 6-pin connector into the J52 connector on the PCIe test card. The ATX 6-pin connector has a different pinout than the J52 connector and by connecting this, you will damage the PCIe test card and it will void the board warranty. Step 2. Install the device driver. If a Passmark PCIe test card has been installed on the system previously, the device drivers will be automatically installed and the installation is complete. If not, start Device Manager by selecting Windows and start typing Device Manager or through the control panel. If the PCIe test card has never been installed before, it should appear as PCI Serial Port under Device Manager Other Devices. If the PCIe test card already has drivers installed and you wish to update the driver, then it should appear as Xilinx DMA under the Device Manager Xilinx Drivers. Right click the device and select Update Driver Software from the drop down menu. Select Browse my computer for driver software and enter the location of the device drivers. Click install. After successful installation, a window will be displayed indicating that Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Step 3. Starting the test software. The PCIe test card can be used to test PCIe slots with the PCIe Gen 3 test software. 
To run this software, download the standalone test application from the Passmark website and click on the executable. Let's now explore the range of tests available. First, the loopback test. In this test, the software sends 16 megabytes of data to the plug and awaits for data to be sent back by the DMA engine. Then, data is verified and low-level errors that occurred during communication will be reported. Next, the benchmark test. In the benchmark test, the test application initiates 16 megabyte transfers and measures the time each transfer takes to calculate the throughput. The transfer size can be changed via the configuration window. And lastly, advanced error reporting. AER or advanced error reporting is a PCI Express feature that allows for more enhanced reporting and control of errors than the basic error reporting scheme. AER errors are categorized as either correctable or uncorrectable and can be detected by the test software. Correctable errors include those error conditions where hardware can recover without any loss of information. Hardware corrects these errors and software intervention is not required. Uncorrectable errors are those error conditions that impact functionality of the interface. There is no mechanism defined by PCIe specification to correct these errors. The below table summarizes the list of errors that can be detected by the PCIe Gen 3 test card. For more information on the PCIe Gen 3 test cards, visit passmark.com.